I'm on Agat Beach. This is the, the southmost uh, of the invasion beaches. Again, the Japanese were camped out here with their defenses. Some of these guns put on display here behind me. And uh, the Americans coming from the sea on their uh, amphibious landing vehicles um, to assault the beach. The Japanese were dug in. They were waiting for the Americans. And it was going to be a very, very hard battle. The first assault on the beach was a disaster for the Americans. The Japanese sunk almost the entire first wave of Amtraks. Those Amtraks are still out there in the sea somewhere. But to find them, you're going to have to dive. So this is Apaka Point and this, this place, this small little peninsula, it overlooks a gut and a gut beach which is where the Americans tried to land. The Japanese built a series of pillboxes into the cliff walls. Here we can see some of the pillboxes. Now these are built into the cliff wall. How they got there was through a cave system. So they dug a cave into this and then the pillboxes are facing out. Let's go have a look at the entrance to the cave system. It's just over here. So this is the cave entrance to the series of pillboxes which faced out uh, overlooking Agat to uh, get a good view and a good place to shoot from to face the Americans that were coming in on their Amtraks. Beach, and this was the northern invasion beach where the Americans came from the sea and landed in their Amtraks on the beach behind me. The Japanese were entrenched, they had their defenses well prepared, they were dug in on these hills, the high hills behind me. The Americans would have to fight from the sea, land on the beach, and move up the mountain to take the Japanese positions. All the advantages were for the Japanese and the Americans suffered heavy losses. This trail goes up into the forest to take a look at some of the Japanese gunning placements uh, that were here to be used against the Americans. Let's go have a look. Okay, I've been walking for about five minutes now. I've just come to one of the first Japanese guns. So the story is that the Chamorros, the natives to Guam, they were under Japanese rule and the Japanese used them to get these massive guns up onto this hill.
these guns are so well camouflaged. You can't imagine how the Americans, how difficult it would have been for the Americans to see them. I would say they're practically invisible. This one apparently was overturned during a typhoon. Now the Japanese were very good at aiming these guns and from the sources that I've read at least over 20 Amtraks were sunk with the full complement of troops on board before they even reached the beach. After I've been walking another five minutes now and I'm coming to the final gun. And there we've got a, a little bit of a view overlooking Asan Beach. That's the North Invasion Beach. If you guys enjoy the on-land history behind the dive sites, let me know in the comments because I know I'm a free diving channel, but there's such, such important stories to be told by some of these things that I'm diving. Um, and I've never told the story before. So let me know in the comments, should I make more videos about the history, about the dive sites, even if that's on land? And uh, until next time.